single parent for even a month or even a couple of days. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's difficult. Hard. Big yes. job. Defin Big job. Definitely. Well, it, it is foggy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Needless to say, very <laughs> foggy. Be careful driving. It's I know. It's kind of <laughs> scary. I know. I made my way all the way over the Arkansas River this morning when I was supposed to get off at Lewis. Uh oh. You're like, so, oopsie. I'm gonna so, be late. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's that foggy out there. You can miss your exit. It really is. But something else too that I noticed on the drive-in is that it's kind of patchy. So even if you're driving on your street, it looks okay. You could take a you know left turn yep. and then fog, you know, hits you. So here's what we're seeing out there. Regardless, you are gonna be looking at a fog start. We are starting off with our mobile meteorologist John Haverfield who is out on the roadways this morning giving you a first-hand look. Again, you can see that fog developing across the area. Uh, it's looking okay where he is. I'll tell you I definitely saw some uh, foggier conditions in some spots so that's why I said it's very patchy. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the maps. Dense fog advisory until 10 a.m. That does include Tulsa County. We are going to be seeing those uh, visibilities reduced down to a quarter mile or less in some spots. Spots. Now, what you just saw with John, that wasn't quite a quarter mile. Uh, and actually, out at the airport, we're down to an eighth of a mile visibility. Uh, so you can see it's really just kind of dependent on where you are in and around the area. Down south in Oak Mulgee, it's about a quarter of a mile there, but it looks to clear a little bit there towards Muskogee and Tahlequah. So your temperatures are at 47 degrees right now in Tulsa. Again, you have the uh, dew point sitting right at 47 as well. When the temperature and the dew point are at the same number there, of course, dew forms. So that's why you're seeing the fog outside and you have calm winds too. So that also helps uh, to allow for that fog development. So here you can see a couple of the cars down there. This is our Midtown camera. We are looking at clear skies though. So as soon as the fog lifts about mid morning, here's your future track. As soon as that fog makes its way out of here at about 10 AM, then we should be seeing more sunshine and it's going to actually turn out to be a pretty nice day. But with the fog sticking around this morning and those temperatures a little chilly, we are going to be looking Looking for uh, again a cool start. So make sure you have your jacket as you head out the door, just a light jacket at least. Dense fog in areas this morning, but by midday again, as soon as the fog lifts, then temperatures are allowed to warm up. And so we'll see about 66 with sunshine by midday, and we're looking for a high of about 72. But a lot of this too depends on how quick the fog gets out of here. Average high though is 55. So regardless, we're going to be above average today. We'll see warmer conditions though over the next two days. Upper 70s, low 80s for winter. Wednesday and Thursday with lots of sunshine across the area. Then a front comes through on Thursday into Friday and that'll drop temperatures down from the well 80s on Thursday there to the 50s then on Friday, Saturday and then on Sunday we'll see about 60 degrees. You'd start to warm up just a little bit and our best chance for rain then on that seven day forecast comes by the start of next week. All right, let's look outside.